Search for At Mink TV. Hi everyone. Today's another beautiful day at At Mink Town. And guess what? We've got another lesson for you from Mr. Train. Are you excited? I know I am. Let's get started. Today, we're learning about fruit. Do you know what fruit is in this box? It's bananas. Bananas grow on palm trees and love to be eaten by monkeys. You just peel the yellow skin off and chow down. Now, what fruit is this? It's an apple. There are over 7,000 different types of apples. If you tried one per day, it'd take you 20 years to taste them all. Apples are delicious, but make sure you don't eat the middle. That bit's not very tasty. To get apples, we plant an apple seed from the core in the ground, and it grows into an apple tree. Now what's our next fruit? It's a pear. Pears come in different colors, including green, orange, yellow, and even red. And they grow on trees much like apples. The wood from pear trees can be used to make lots of nice things, like ornaments, tables, and musical instruments like the cello. Now our next fruit often comes in pears. It's cherries. Cherries grow on beautiful trees called cherry blossoms. They produce about 800 cherries. Cherries are great when you have them with dessert, like cupcakes or pies, and look great on top. Wow! Look at the size of that cherry pie! I hope that's not just for you, Fennec Fox. Now this fruit will be hard to guess. Can you get it? It's a coconut! Coconuts grow on palm trees in tropical places like deserted islands. The trees can reach 20 meters tall, which is as high as an 8th floor building. Hi, Big Mink! Hi! Ah, oh, coconut. Now I bet you can all guess this fruit. It's the pineapple. Pineapples grow out of the ground and are actually a type of berry. If you slice off the top, you can use it to grow a new one. Wow, Mink, that pineapple is gigantic! Maybe you should invite your friends to help eat it. Wow, look at it! The largest pineapple is 32 centimeters long and weighed over 8 kilograms. Does everybody know this next fruit? It's lemons. Lemons grow on trees much like apples and pears. The trees are called evergreens and produce fruit all year. Oh, you like lemons, Miss Mink? No, too sour. Lemons are tastiest when you make lemonade by squeezing out their juices. You can also use lemons as a battery. Isn't that amazing? Okay, on to the next fruit. It's oranges. Oranges are another fruit that grows on trees like lemons. Oranges are like the children of Pinellos and the older <laughs> brothers of mandarins. <laughs> to eat an orange, first peel off the skin, which you can then use to make some nice tea or for making cakes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oranges usually break into ten pieces after you take the skin off. Our next fruit is an old favorite. It's strawberries. Strawberries are covered in lots of tiny little seeds. The only fruit like this. There can be as many as 200. They grow on long stalks that come out of the ground that only produce fruit for five years. Strawberries are another fruit that goes great with dessert. The pine berry is a type of strawberry that's very pale and tastes like a pineapple. Do you know what our next fruit is? It's blackberries. They hang off the end of long branches. But watch out for the thorns. Blackberry leaves are great in tea. And if you feed blackberries to bees, they make delicious, dark, fruity honey. You can even use them to make pies, creams, 
ice creams, and jams, and they're all delicious. What do we have this time? It's the blueberry. Blueberries are great because you can eat lots of them before you get full. You can also use blueberries to make paint. So you and your friends can paint beautiful pictures. And just like other berries, you can make lots of delicious things like jams, pies, and ice creams. Thanks for another awesome lesson, Mr. Train. Let's go through them again. Banana, apple, pear, cherry, coconut, pineapple, lemon, orange, strawberry, blackberry, and blueberry. Thanks everyone for joining us on this learning adventure. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you next time. All right, today we're getting some help from Mr. Pig. Oh, stop! We've got to bring the passenger section over. Line those wheels up. Oops, missed. Oh, here's the cab. That's why they missed. That looks great. Let's get some photos. Don't forget the mirrors. And lastly, the seats. With our friendly bus driver, Mink. Mr. Pig is our first passenger. Let's go for a drive. Oh, forgot something. The engine. That sounds better. Wow. Looking good, Mrs. School Bus. See you again soon. Welcome back to At Mink Town. Looks like Mr. Train is doing well. <laughs> oh no, is that evil Dr. Pig? What's he doing? It looks very suspicious. What's in that bag? There are some very suspicious looking tools. And was that dynamite? What's he gonna do with that? Oh, this doesn't look good. Evil Dr. Pig, please stop! Oh my gosh! This is terrible! Mink! Oh no! Police copter, please help! 
The tunnel has been blown up. Somebody blew up the tunnel, please, Chief Mink. Oh, that's terrible. First, we're gonna put out the fire, and then move that log. Good work, Mr. Fire Truck. Putting out the fire is a great first step. Same goes for you, Mr. Crane. Good work. Oh, what are we gonna do? Oh, how do we move all this? Oh, that evil Dr. Pig. I know what we should do. What's that, Miss Mink? You've got an idea. Aha! You think we should build a digger. Let's get started. First, we need the cap. Come on, cab. Don't leave us hanging. Next, come the sides and the seat. Jump on, guys! And on to the base. Come on, Grill, what are you waiting for? Pig's minions are here to stop us. Oh no. Mm -hmm. Great work, Mink. All right. We're back on track. So, next up, we need the tilt cylinder and the blade. Great work! And now, the tracks and the frame. Ready to get rolling. Finally, the steering wheel gets to join. And now we're ready to help fix the tunnel. Oh, maybe a bit more power first. Oh, you're forgetting something. Huh? Thanks, Big Mink. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Thanks. See ya. All right, Mink. Let's go. Uh, uh. Uh. Uh, <laughs> evil Dr. Pig's minions are trying to stop us again. Time to waste. Mm. Hurry, Mink, we gotta get this cleaned up. Don't worry, I'm on it. 
The train is coming. Hurry, Mick. <laughs> it's getting closer. I can do it. All right, this is you it. You can do it, Mink. <laughs> We did it, guys! Ah, I foiled again! The train is saved! Another crisis avoided thanks to Mink and his friends! <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe to at Mink so you can see what Mink and his friends are up to next time! See you then! Championship race. Are you ready? I know I am. Yeah, I got this. Yeah, it's mine. Yeah, we're gonna do it. Look at him go! Oh, Miss Mink has an idea. Whoa, what a cool move! Great work, Miss Mink. Oh no! The blocks got in the way! Now Fox Mink is making his move with the garbage cannon. Big Mink is still in the lead though. This looks fun. Wow, look at that strength! Oh no! Man. Uh oh! What's Evil Dr. Pig doing? Yeah, this will get him. He's using a pig cannon to destroy everyone's cars! Bike wheels? Like That's not fair! Careful, Mink! Gonna win this now! Oh no! What now? What? Mink's driving on two wheels! This is amazing! Come on, Mink! 
You can't let that cheater win! Great shot, Mink! Yeah, they had it, get me. Right. Me to help you? Yeah, we're gonna help you. Alright, it's a push race now. Lucky your friends are here to help. Yeah. Come on, guys, you can do it! Yeah! Yay, you did it! Mink is the winner! Serves evil Dr. Pig right for cheating! All right, now we're over at the At Ming Town Railway Station. And guess what? We're going to build Mr. Train. Let's start assembling him. Now, what have we got here? Rocket. That's right. Where does a rocket go to? Space. Great work! Look at that! The rocket was actually part of the train! Starting to look good, Mr. Train! Now the dump truck is here. What have you got for us? Wheels. Wow, thanks so much. They'll be a great help. And what's next? Engine. That's right. The engine helps the wheels work. All right, just the finishing touches left. Now, what have we got here? Train. That's right, it's Mr. Train. And what's this he's going to pull? Wagon. Yep, a wagon. Let's watch him go. Wow, looking great, Mr. Train. Hi everyone, and welcome back to App Mink. 
Today, Mr. Train is going to help us learn about numbers. Look at all those numbers we're going to get to learn today. First up, we have number one. And we have one monster car next to it. The crane and trucks are helping us with some logs. Hi, Mink. Hi. Oh, and you've got number two. Just like how you have two arms and two legs. The school bus and the monster truck are helping us out with this one. Now number three. And look, three stars. The dump truck is going to help us create the three using nuts. Next comes the number four. And it's surrounded by four umbrellas. Mr. Train is going to show us how to make a four. Great work! Oh no! Number five is surrounded by five of Evil Dr. Pig's minions. But don't worry, Mr. Helicopter is here to show us how to make one. Number six. Look at all the presents. This time, Mr. Police Car will help us. Now, number seven. That's how many colors there are in a rainbow. The monster truck is making a seven with Lego bricks. And guess what? For number eight, we have eight Lego bricks as well. Lots of cars are showing us how to make an eight. Now we get to number nine, and there's nine apples. Let's make a nine on the wall with a paint roller. Finally, number 10, with 10 balloons. Mr. Train is making the zero, and the logs are making the one. Now, let's go through them all one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Thanks for showing us how to count to 10, Mr. Train. We had lots of fun. Don't forget to subscribe to App Mink so we can learn more cool things. See you next time. Hello, everybody. Hello! Today, we are going to build a helicopter. Are you ready? Yeah. Yes! First, we should call the landing skis. Wow, here they are! Kevin is coming. Right on its place. Everything we need to be stable. Hey monster truck! Are these the parts for the helicopter's tail? Wow! Fantastic! 
stick. The blades with the main rotor. Cool. Over here. Get in the helicopter! Time the doors! One... Two... Three... Four! Well done! <laughs> ah, the keys! You can do it, Mink! Yeah! Here we go! Cool! He's flying! All right, time to build a new friend. Do you know who it is? We're starting with the connector. Now we're adding the back and the wheels. Here comes the cab. Looking great. Our exhaust pipes, bumper, and roof. Then finally the back. Garbage truck. Garbage truck. That's right, it's Mr. Garbage Truck. Bicycle. Bicycle. Mr. Garbage Truck is taking the bicycle. What next? TV. TV. The TV is next. Now? Lamp. Lamp. A lamp next. Any more? Chair. Chair. He's taking a chair. What goes with a chair? Table. Table. Yep, a table. Great work, Mr. Garbage Truck. Searching for target. Target located. Target locked on. Hello, police car. You must be here to become a monster truck. Are you ready? Great! Let's see what we'll need.
Looks like we need some new tires first. Let's start by removing the old ones. Don't worry, it'll be fixed soon. Yeah, this is a real monster truck wheel. What's next? Oh, the suspension. Wrap up nice and tight. All right, we're going to need four of those. Time for the chassis. Stretch them out, that's it. Looking good. And now, the engine. Just jump right onto the chassis. That's it. Um, hello? Alright, that looks great! And finally, the cabin. Let's get going! Construction complete! Awesome! You're definitely the coolest police car ever! Amazing! Do you like it, Mr. Police Car? I thought you might. Let's go for a test drive! out all those tricks wow amazing that was awesome we'll see you next time everybody and don't forget to subscribe to at mink to make sure you don't miss the next episode Okay, what are we building today, Mink? Looks like we've got a chassis with different kinds of doors on each side. Interesting. Let's keep watching. Here comes the... Wheels. Th that's right! Wheels. Mr. Dump Truck is helping us with more parts. Now we have the full chassis. 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 What goes in the chassis? Engine. Engine. Yep, the engine. Now, what do we need to sit in? Seat. Yep, the seat. Seat. Let's
Let's start adding some of the outside parts. Now do you know who this guy is? Monster Truck. Monster Truck. Yep, he's a monster truck. Look at him go, what a jump! Is everyone ready for a song? Okay, let's go! Wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round, all the way to town. The doors on the bus, they open and close, open and close, open and close. The doors on the bus, they open and close, all the way to town. The bus goes ching ching ching, ching ching ching, ching ching ching. The money on the bus goes ching ching ching, all the way to town. The driver on the bus says, Move on back, move on back, move on back. The driver of the bus says, Move on back, and don't forget to put your seatbelts on. All the way to town. The monkeys on the bus put the seatbelts on. To wash away the rain All the way through town The antennas on the bus go back and forth Back and forth, back and forth Antennas on the bus go back and forth And back and back and forth The signals on the bus go blink, blink, blink Blink, 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 blink The signals on the bus go blink, blink Good morning, everybody. It's still really early in at Mink Town, so we don't want to wake anyone up. Look at all the sleeping parts. Good morning, Mink. You're going to play us a song? Oh, wow. It sounds so cool. And it's woken up Mr. Crane Truck's parts. Let's watch him collect them all and put himself together.
The wheels are getting ready and waiting for the body. Here he comes! The cab is getting the seat and some of the other parts on his way over. It's all coming together now. Looking great. Now, some of Mink's magical music is going to bring them together forever. Look at Mr. Crane carry those logs. Great work! Hey everybody, we're back at At Mink Town today, and guess what? There's a surprise waiting for us at the police station. Let's go find out what it is. Oh, hello Mr. Walkie Talkie. What have you got for us today? Oh, some wheels? What are these for? Oh, it's the blueprints for a police car! And the wheels are the first step! What's next, Mr. Walkie Talkie? It's whatever's in this box? Ah, it's the axles for the wheels. Let's get them connected up so that we have a foundation for our police car. Looks like so much fun, Mr. Walkie Talkie. Uh oh, it's Police Chief Mink. Oh, wait, he's going to join in. Now that the wheels are getting into position, what's next? We've got the siren, the bumper, the hood and the headlights, and the trunk and the tail lights. Let's see where they need to go. Here comes the hood and the trunk. Oh, look out! Oh no, I hope they're okay. 
Here comes Mr. Walkie Talkie and Police Chief Mink with the wheels. All right, nice job, guys. Now the helicopter will lower the windshield and the roof. Here comes the bumper, jumping into place. Oh, and now here are the doors, flying in from the hills. You guys know what to do. That's right, right on the sides. Lastly, here comes the siren, jumping onto the roof. Good job, Mr. Walkie Talkie and Police Chief Mink. Now we can introduce the newest member of the At Mink Police Force, Mr. Police Car. Thanks, everybody. Now let's say goodbye to Mr. Police Car as he goes on his way. Please subscribe to At Mink's channel and see you next time. Everybody, and welcome back to At Mink. Boy, have we got something exciting today. Look at all these fruits and colors. And guess what? That's what we're learning about today. Colors! All right, so first up we have the tomato. Do you know what color it is? That's right, it's red. Great job. Oh, the hammer pressed the red button. Wow! Look at all the red tomatoes rolling in the pool! <laughs> oh look! And Mink too! Hi Mink! Hi! Okay, are you ready for the next one? What color is this fruit? Correct! Blue! That's why they're called blueberries! Time to hit the blue button and watch the blueberries roll into the pool. Look at them all. And it's funny Fox enjoying the pool with the blueberries this time. Next, we have lemons. Do you know what color lemons are? Absolutely right. They're yellow. Let's hit the yellow button and send the lemons into the pool now. And who have we got enjoying the pool this time? It's Big Mink. And he's got a lemon drink too. Okay, can you guess the color of our next fruit? Great guess! They're blackberries! Let's hit the black button and send the blackberries into the pool now! <laughs> Evil Dr. Pig is rolling around on a black ball, hugging the pool to himself! How mean! <laughs> Now we've got a coconut. What color is a coconut, everybody? You got it! It's brown! Let's hit the brown button and check out the coconuts. Oh! Big Mink's going to die! Splash. Very cool, Big Mink. Our next fruit is the watermelon. Do you know what color watermelon is? Right again. It's green. Now to hit the green button. 
Look at all the watermelons! Hi, Miss Mink! Gosh, I love the pool oh, so much! and you've got a green shirt on! How cool! Now for our next fruit! Do you know the color of these raspberries? That's it! Purple! They're purple raspberries! Let's hit the purple button and get some raspberries in the pool! Evil Dr. Pig again, and he's looking suspicious. This time, we have a vegetable. It's garlic. What color is garlic? You got it again. It's white. Now to hit the white button and get some garlic in our pool. Tell us in the comments, or tell us what you'd like to learn next time. Hi everybody, and welcome back to another educational adventure with Mr. Train and everyone from at Mink Town. Hi Mr. Train, today we're going to learn about shapes. How many shapes do you know? Let's find out. The first shape is a circle. Did you know that the sun is a circle? Look at how happy he is about it. The police car and the school bus are showing us how the circle goes round and round. Next is the triangle. Did you know pyramids are made from triangles? These pyramids come all the way from Egypt. Mr. Train is showing us the triangle shape this time. Our third shape is the square. A square has four sides. Look at those exciting square presents. I wonder what's inside. The monster truck is bringing us four Lego blocks to make the four sides of the square. Our next shape is the pentagon. Did you know that the black spots on soccer balls are pentagons? But not the white spots. We'll find out about those next. The crane trucks are bringing us logs to use as the five sides of the pentagon. Stop! Oh, wait, it's just our next shape, the hexagon! Now, if we line up the holes at the end of these six beams, we can make a hexagon. Let's lock them in place with the screws. Our sixth shape is a super shape. It's the star! 
and we have our superstar star here with us too. What's this? What is Evil Dr. Pig doing? Oh, he's pretending to be Pac-Man and eating Pac-Dots in the corners of the star. Now, we've got a diamond shape. Most kites are diamond shaped, with the tail flowing down from the bottom point. To make a diamond, we're going to get some help from our good friend, Mr. Duck Truck. Next is one of the loveliest shapes, the heart shape. Look at all the heart that little bear has got to give. Remember to give the people you love hearts, like this bear, to show them you care. Mr. Helicopter is going to draw a big heart in the sky for us. Thanks so much, Mr. Helicopter. It looks great. Our ninth shape is the oval. And what are the ovals we have in the basket? That's right, they're eggs! The dump truck is going to dump the eggs in the shape of an oval. It's an oval of ovals! Great work, Mr. Dump Truck! Our last shape is the rectangle. It looks like a stretched out square. Let's build a rectangle out of blocks. And now that we know how to make one, we can paint a rectangle on the wall. If you think you can draw a rectangle as well, draw one in the air with your finger. That's all of the shapes for today. Let's go through them one more time. Circle, triangle, square, pentagon, hexagon, star, diamond, heart, oval, and rectangle. Thanks so much for your help, Mr. Train, and everyone else from AppMink. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you next time.